Good morning friends, welcome to the pre-market outlook. As we have seen yesterday, Nifty and Sensex both were a little negative by 0.3%. Uh, on, the, on the back of the entire week, we have seen very negativity in the Indian equities on the back of China's slowdown and the yuan. So looking at the apprehensions, I think markets were down. Uh, if you talk about the flows, flows were quite uh, interesting and positive. If you talk about FII cash flows was around 285 crores, whereas DII cash flows were around 278 crores. But uh, one caveat that FII index, they have sold around 105 crores. So looking at the flows, I think it was quite positive. That is why market recovered from the bottom 2.3% lower only. If you talk about European markets, European markets was little weak. Uh, CAC uh, was 1.8% down, DAX was 1.6% down, whereas FTSE was 0.78% down. So looking at the European markets was very weak. But again, today, uh, if you talk about US markets, Dow was positive 1.3%, whereas uh, S&P was also equally positive. Uh, yesterday we have seen in the evening uh, WPA data had come up, it was not as per expectation but then it, then too it was negative minus 0.73%. So looking at WPA is very negative where the food inflation is a very small component there. So uh, and uh, talking about uh, the uh, Asian markets today. And, DAX, uh, Shanghai and Hang Seng both are little negative but whereas we are expecting around 13-14 points positive in SGX Nifty as on now. But uh, overall markets result season has started as we all know yesterday Infosys came out with results. I think the results was quite good beating the estimates and even they have revised their guidance from 8 to 8.9% to 9.3% 9 .9 in terms of dollar revenue growth. So results, hits and misses will be part of the markets and we'll uh, uh, listen to the derivative updates now. Good morning friends and welcome to the derivative update. Yesterday we saw Nifty uh, had a fall of around uh, 30 points and cost of carry has also gone down uh, from uh, earlier 3.91 to 1.31 or 1.30 uh, whereas Nifty has added around 5.75 lakh shares in open interest and uh, PCR is hovering around 0.83 levels uh, which is providing quite a comfort on, on the PCR front. 0.83 we have usually seen that the markets bounce uh, around from 0.8 to 0.85 zone. Uh, we have seen a bounce in the market so 0.83 PCR indicates that we are likely to see some bounce in the nifty from current zones and we are uh, closer to the support zones of 7500. Uh, the VIX is uh, uh, flattish around 18.61, nothing much on that front. Uh, whereas we have seen that 76 and 77 call have uh, continuously added open interest. 7700 call uh, now stands with uh, 57.8 lakh shares. Uh, whereas on the put side, we have seen increased activity in 74 and 7500 put, which is encouraging signs for the market. Uh, whereas uh, 7500 put has around 59.47 lakh shares, and yesterday we have seen around 4 4.5% 4 uh, addition in open interest in uh, put of 7500, uh, which gives us confidence that uh, around uh, 7450, 7500 we could see some uh, support for the markets going ahead. Uh, on uh, securities in band for today, we, there are quite a few securities. Uh, we have Bank of India, Ibul Real Estate, IDBI, India Cement, Jindal Steel, uh, Jain Irrigation. Uh, we have Alliance Capital and Unitech in band for today's trade. Uh, on the FIIs front, uh, we have seen FIIs were sellers in index futures to the tune of 105 crores. Whereas index options, they were biased to the tune of 378 crores and stock futures also, they were biased to the tune of 376 crores. Uh, whereas uh, stock options, uh, they were sellers to the tune of 70 odd crores. On the VWAP front, uh, we have uh, seven, 5 days VWAP stands at uh, 7570 and the lower range is at uh, 7, 7500 and we are likely to open around 7550. So 7570, if we cross that and if we sustain above that, we could see some fresh rally or uh, till 7700 odd levels. That's it friends from the derivative desk. Thanks and uh, have a nice trading session. Now we'll uh, get to know the trading ideas of the day. The first idea of the day is work hard at CMP 1515. News flow to this company is 62,500 bottles of work hard antibiotic tablets recalled in US. Action to be taken is short work hard. Uh, stop loss at 1545 target at 1469, 1439. Second idea of the day is Arcom Reliance Communication on the back of getting green signal from browsers on Sistema D. 
uh, Alcom and RGO to ink pack soon. This is also one of the news in the market. Action to be taken is long Alcom stop loss at 78, target at 80, 82. Uh, we'll uh, have a look of the news updates. Uh, if we talk about PTC India Financial Services, the credit rating company has affirmed A plus rating, while the outlook on the long term rating has been revised to positive from stable from Ikra. Maruti launches Alto range with option of passenger side airbags. Titagar wagon subsidiary in Italy bags order. Shipbuilding gets infra status. Sent Gobain to invest 1000 crores in Chennai facility. Ta Stata Starbucks plans to introduce tea retail chains Tiwana in India. New policy likely to boost make in India by allowing 100% credit for taxes paid on inputs. WPI contraction eases in December to minus 0.73%. Reliance Defence buys SAP's stake in Pibao Defence. FIPB clears 5 FDI proposals worth 6,050 crores. Uh, Renault uh, searched in emission probe says no signs of defeat de device. Prakash Industries FI16 sales volume to grow 15% to 31,800 uh, million ton. Majesco and Apulet form strategic partnership. UK's Liberty House uh, likely to buy two of Tata Steel's Scottish plants. Uh, we have few of the results today lined up. Uh, the main important ones are Hindustan Unilever where the expectation profit esti uh, estimates are 1029 crores. Z Entertainment again a large cap company of 310.70 crores. Indian Hotels 98.30 crores. NIT Tech is 270 crores and TV18 Broadcast. We don't have a consensus estimate on this. And uh, watch list, if you talk about the stocks with positive bias and negative bias, positive bias is Pidilite, Inf Infosys, Tech Mahindra, and stocks with negative bias is Ultra Tech Cement, Kotak. Uh, we'll have a look of the stocks for investments. Investments, as we have discussed, Infosys have uh, posted a good set of numbers. So on that basis, Infosys has to be there in the investment list. Indusind Bank, Britannia, Reliance, and Sun Pharma. Thank you friends, that's it for the day, we'll again meet on Monday next week.